Music is my preferred way of communicating. I started taking piano lessons when I was seven. I was painfully shy growing up, so music quickly became my voice. By the time I was in college, I was fully expressing myself, but it was through the drama of classical music. Today, music is an even more powerful voice for me. It's this completely immersive experience that I just can't get enough of. Like a lot of musicians, I became curious about art later in life. I bought some charcoal and paper and started sketching myself in the mirror. I taped all my drawings to the walls of my living room and I would just sit there and stare at them. It didn't take long until I bought my first tubes of paint and started weaving it into my charcoal drawings. Paint excited me. It added a new dimension, namely color, but it also added fluidity and movement. And paint could be really bold, which I loved. As I began to experiment with paint, I found myself touching and handling my materials and making marks as if I was performing Beethoven's Appassionata Sonata at the piano. In other words, it was like I was sculpting the paint with my whole body behind it. That's how I was able to connect with this new form of expression. The physicality of my hands making contact with the surface was very much like how making music felt to me. Art has been a successful endeavor. It's enabled me to pursue multiple creative dreams. I've had some lovely winnings in juried shows over the years, but my licensing deal with Pier 1 Imports for my birds has been particularly sweet. When I'm painting my little birds, it's really just all about love and tenderness and trying to spread a little joy in the world. I, for one, want as much of those things as I can get. <laughs>